Um, got a lot of spirit emblems, which is good. <laughs> Reduces terror status build up and increases terror resistance. Nice. But then when I buy that, uh, there are no words that can do the flavor justice to understand one must taste it for themselves. Damn. Okay, some cool stuff starting to appear now. But I think for me, I I want this. Refills upon rest. So, to do that, I need to sell some stuff. Wow. Went in storage. She shall go to go it. Sweet. Okay. So now I'm happy to keep going a little more, but I'll probably wrap up the session soon. Ah, oh, that's a mistake. I used up my spirit evidence for no reason. It's not my intention. I thought it was the mortal blade uh, blow. These guys are super slow. Don't have to worry about that. So one of these is enough. Work through them. Don't know if they just keep spawning infinitely. What? Getting closer to three as well, so that's what I wanted for the skill level. Another one of those. Oof. What's going on? Don't mess with me. Let me check my recording still alive. It is. I'm going to finish up soon, but this would be a very bad time. There you go, Mibu Village. It'd be a very bad time for everything to screw up. Overwhelm me with the sheer numbers, but I did get up to three now. So this is the village we've been looking for. And they drop lumps of fat wax. That's what we like to see. I think exploring is going to be a bit annoying here. There's a lot of them. I think killing every single one is going to be a bit problematic. But I have a feeling there's got to be some NPCs or something around here. Wow. Okay. Sure. <laughs> That's why I could interrupt that. I, I didn't realize how low my health was. Right, you want to try that again, lady? Got lucky with that. Let's 
just items everywhere, but also just villagers everywhere. Yeah. It's the kind of place where they're trying to tempt you in to just kind of sprint through. But, yeah. It's a weird old place, isn't it? I guess it's a great place for farming once you really get used to it. In fact, I'm going to pop a balloon of wealth. And start living a bit dangerously here. Taking the whole villager's lunch money here. Yeah, get off me. <laughs> okay. Very dangerous bit here. Yeah, with with big guy there as well, it's a whole different proposition. So these guys are respawning here, I think they are. Yeah, that's the deal with this place. Okay. Just need a confirmation of that. I'm gonna skip along now. Gold seed, wow. Okay, that's a good find. Sheesh. Crazy old place. Did I come back to the start? Or is this the next one? I think this is the next one. Got a bit disoriented there. <laughs> Wasn't sure if I went back to the beginning. Alright, calm down. Okay, I think um, the final piece of action for today is to... Head back here. Actually, head back here. Get that umbrella upgrade and try and take on that guy with the spirits. And Because I, I think that's like the last uh, one that's left that I haven't beaten, that I've encountered at this stage, I think. All night. I still can't get it. Oh, okay, yeah, I can do that. We also have a gold seed as well. It's been very lucrative. Haven't had to fight many extraordinary foes. Only won this session. And even that one was a different, whole different style of fight, so it was relatively easy, I would say, compared to what we've been uh, having to deal with. Okay, here we go. Sheesh. Dear 
Mud. Okay, so we're going to end the session roughly the way it began. Going to head here. See what we can do about this guy. Yeah, the terror build-up is much lower here. It's a mistake. I'm going to change back to... He just never stops moving as well, which is a problem. Uh, so every time I do that, I need to do this. Yeah, he's always ready for me, like, I can't, I can't really get anything on him. <laughs> so, this is working to help against this, but not much else, really. Yeah, you see, like, every single time I come out from that cover, he's too quick. That's rough. There's going to be something better we can do here. Okay, that was a little better. Let me try again. I'll give it a few goes. I think this guy's quite high level. Ah, uh, it's just too quick there. He's still very hard to stagger. But we're doing better here.
There's my first. There's a start. Oof. All right, let's see what we're dealing with here. Ah, shit. So it's still got the same moveset, it seems. One too many. Son of a bitch. I ran out of uh, spirit emblems. It was working quite well, but I feel like I can get there without it as well. Unseen aid, nice. Um, Uh, why is he doing that now? He didn't do that last time. Definitely making use of the apparition type thing. Okay. Trying to use all the tools here. Alright, go after him. Almost there. Haha, <laughs> you bastard, I got this. There you go, just about.
Thank you, Confetti. Dagger with stark white blade and hilt converts vitality into spirit emblems. Replenishing, resting replenishes its charges. Originally, this tanto was used in a ritual offering to the dragon, in which an emblem would be cut from one's own life force and set adrift in the fountainhead waters. The blade is inscribed with its true name, Devoted Soul. Okay. Converts vitality into spirit emblems. Interesting. But there we go. It really is a game where there's a tool for every job. <laughs> it really does seem like once you find the right tools, everything becomes much easier. Like, much, much easier. Um, as I continue, let me just see if there's anything I need to do. The one thing I kind of forgot was that Originally, I came to the Hidden Forest and I was trying to kind of fight a boss I'd previously fought. And I kind of end up just bypassing it and finding the next area. I just want to quickly check. Basically, other than that, I think I have everything. Maybe I need to have another look at this bottomless hole place, honestly. Just want to double check because I think there's like multiple exits. I don't know if those two are connected or if it's... Let's just have another look. It's that kind of game where you just overlook one path or cave or one thing and you've missed like a whole different thing, so. But I think there's only one exit out of this place and that's the path I've already taken, so. It's just the fact there's only two things here, like uh, on the map. Just the bottomless hole and the underwater thing, the path thing. Yeah, this is the only path we got. So I'm going to double check this and then I'm generally... Uh, I might head to the forest and see if I can fight that guy. There was another sort of apparition type enemy. It's this guy. And then we had the surgeon guy, right? And we had to lead someone down there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with this one. I'm just trying to think. My reaction, my gut feeling was the guy who had the big sword, but I forgot where he was. Yeah, I need to find that guy. I don't remember where he is. So I think what I'll do is, for now, shit, I've run out of this. I forgot if I could buy it or not. Maybe I shouldn't fight that guy in the forest until I have more of those. Uh, yeah, fighting those guys without any confetti is probably not the smartest thing. There are many kinds of prosthetic tools and the same strategy won't work on every opponent. Indeed. So I'm going to follow this path again. She's here again. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's been a while. I forgot what happens if you do nothing. Do you just die? I think you just... I think you just die. So there is a there is a limit. Just confirming that again in case I mess something up. Also I have three skill points, so I should be careful and not lose those. This guy. Yeah, I remember all of this.
keep getting a bit too carried away and pressing R1 multiple times. It's this guy. Yeah. One thing I have been curious about is... Oh. I swear to God, I'm not fighting that guy again. But I was going to say, one thing I am curious of is... Basically, we had the memory, the one that led us back to the state from three years ago. I thought we'd be getting more of these. I literally got this memory within like an hour or two of playing. And since then, we've got nothing. So I'm kind of a bit surprised, I think. I thought we'd encounter more. I don't know how many more of them there are, to be honest. If I've just missed the NPCs that have them or something else, I really don't know. Right, let's see if I can find this guy. Really? This has changed. This is Hidden Forest, right? Yeah. And they do a lot of damage too. Too many. Never liked these guys. They're some of my least favorite enemies anyway. Okay, that'll do. It wasn't brilliant, but... Was the guy around here somewhere, though? This stage, I don't remember where he was. Yeah, I can't seem to find the guy. Let me try to retrace my steps and find the boss that I missed. I don't think I'm going to fight it now. Um, because I literally don't have confetti. But oh, really? Okay. I took these ones too casually. That's the first time I've died to one. I deserve that. It's the first time I took it casually. They've been so ridiculously easy to kill the entire game that I just have this mentality. I just stroll up to him and just kind of just kill him whenever I want, however I want. But as usual, I forgot to rest. I just keep forgetting to rest at these ones. Ugh. Anyway. Where is this guy? It's a big old map, man. I, f I forget where things are. Let me retrace some steps here. Uh, I think we started here. Yeah, it was one of those where it completely stun locked me. Like, there was nothing I could do once it started hitting me. I think I was supposed to roll out of the way after I got knocked down. But, again, even then, after I got knocked down, I was like, yeah, I'll just get up and kill it in one hit anyway. It's fine. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that. But that's fine. In general, I've been dying so much less that... Um, we haven't had like a problematic encounter in a long time. Where well, I've died like 15 times or something. 20 times or more. Right, so I'm retracing steps a little here. I'll probably edit out some stuff as well. Yeah, so I've continued to look around and I just, I can't find this guy. I don't know where he is. So I'm just going to acquire my skills before I lose the... <laughs> Um, I feel like this is pretty intuitive, like as in it being helpful seems pretty intuitive. So we'll just do that so we don't waste the points. But I think honestly I'm just going to head back to um, here. Just carry it on. Right, this place was very busy. So a lot of people chilling around and then there's like people popping out the ground and shit, so <laughs> it's dangerous. I 
I'm just generally trying to make sure I explore all of it. That one's big damage if you get caught. It's definitely an ambush spot. Almost. Almost. Oh, nice. Definitely needed that. Only one, though. That's a bit harsh. I feel like in the future for that stuff, I have to basically f feel like I've figured out a boss and I'm confident with it and then use the confetti. Otherwise, I'm going to waste too much of it. I don't feel ready. Oh, more sake. Nice. I kind of like that it's a tool to just get more lore from the characters. I like just get them, have a little drink with them and learn more about their story. I think it's super cool. I don't know how much more there is to it, but so far at least that's usually what's happened. So I'll clean up around here. out man what the hell I'm surprised I didn't get seen honestly <laughs> I was lucky but yeah I think all of these guys attacking me at once I'd have a problem I mean I've already basically died to even two of them Lots of experience points here. But I think this is going to basically have to make a choice, this guy or this guy. This guy will have to try and take one on one. Of course. I just need like an extra second. Yeah, the follow-up punches are weak, thankfully. Yeah, only 116 points for that guy compared to 630 for those apparition spirit things, whatever they are. I don't know if it's a case of like enemies who've killed in the past reappear here. That'd be kind of dope. But like, if you manage to get through the game without ever killing those guys, you don't have to deal with them here. 